I'm here to go over um, one of two editing uh, assignments that are due in the this class. Uh, first one being um, Thursday, May 6th. And um, just to kind of take you through it, it's a pretty simple assignment and exercise in editing. And so if we click on assignments and we go here to editing exercise one, <clears throat> we can read through what, what we have to do here. So this is due Thursday, May 6th. And basically what I want you to do is I want you to take, you know, 45 seconds, 60 seconds of your song, the same song that you've chosen, um, you know, do your final project on. And I want you to all, all in the class, you know, use the same set of clips um, and edit them to your music. And I want you to kind of think about, um, you know, how this may how you can use these clips creatively to create a story or a theme or a vibe similar to what you're going to have in your final project or create a similar editing aesthetic or just go ham bone on editing and just see what you can do with editing and how creative you can get but being consistent and also manipulating the clips okay so you can go here and you click on the link the download files here it'll take you to the found uh the found footage and here's the files here. Now note that they're four by three aspect ratio, so they're square, but you can manipulate them, you can stretch them out, you can crop them, you can over, I mean, I want you to do whatever you want to do. There's going to be no limitation here um, on this project. There's also a folder with ProRes files, so higher resolution files. Um, so there's two clips, um, essentially, and there's a bunch of different, you know, content in there, mostly, tobacco and, and beer ads okay um yeah and so i want you to just think about how you can make it make this work so you'll submit this on canvas you know as a quick time movie um and that's kind of that and basically what i'm going to be looking for here is your editing technique um how are you able to use editing to you know, create a story a theme or 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 a vibe that's consistent so you know you don't have to use all the clips you know, maybe you use specific ones, you try to edit them to the music, make them, you know, dance to the music, make them interact with the music, use graphic matching, etc., whatever. So what you need to hand in is a 45 to 60 second edit as h264.mob file with AAC audio or for, that's for Final Cut users. And I believe that Premiere does not support um, h264.mov. So, um, Basically, here you go. You can you can use the H.264 for Premiere, H.264 format, and use the Vimeo um, Full HD preset. Okay, a lot of students use Premiere but don't know how to fucking export and you know properly. So, um, but you just want to make sure it's a 24p or 24 frames per second or 23.976 uh, 976 frames per second. Um, you know project and and so anyways um uh there's just you hand in a short pdf file that just explains your concept here so it's just very short explain your concept um you'll submit it on canvas using panopto and you must submit things as spec here so you need to make sure you can do that now part of that spec is this your video must start with this head leader so here you go click on it um, download it. It's just a universal head leader. Uh, you know, picture start and do 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 do. So you can download that and use that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I want you to fade to black after that. There's a cinema studies. It should say uh, pro uh, not program uh, department logo. We can go here and download that. I want that for three seconds. And fade the black. So I want you to follow this because this is a delivery spec thing for editing. So if you're going to be into editing, oh, I want to edit, you know, you have to deliver to spec. So here's the Cinema Studies logo. So follow this very closely, okay? At the end of the film, you must fade the black for three seconds, followed by a produ production F. A production company name or logo or and sound mark for five seconds so if you come up with like if you have a production company or are you working together as a team and have one you know, like a name and a sound mark put put that in if you don't have anything or you know or you want to make something you can put it in there if you don't have anything whatever you don't have to use it there but um you know if you do have a production company name or logo with a sound mark use it 
but just just you know fill that in so i do want you to create a production company image and sound specifically if you're working in teams but you know if you're working individually it's a good opportunity to make make something to think about branding yourself and stuff like that here's all the specs for turning in um, make sure that when you do export that your audio is around negative six decibels so use the little VU meters to make sure that your audio is no higher than negative six but the peaks are around negative six uh, DB um, you may also want to export as a ProRes file for yourself so you have a high res editable file okay a little bit about giving credit to music if it's Creative Commons license and more about all that stuff. And then here's a whole bunch of editing possibilities. Literal editing, they say, you know, cigarette, you show a cigarette, stuff like that. Um, you can use continuity uh, editing if you can figure out how to do that. So eyeline match, uh, match on action, shot, reverse shot, parallel editing, reaction shots, all that. You can go for more complexity editing style you know, to create an, you know, intensity or an emotion. You can use metric and rhythm montage editing. So you cut to the beat, graphic editing, where you link um, graphical elements on the screen, analytical montage, idea associative montage, motif. So these are all like, you know, filmic techniques and theories for editing, whatever that you can employ here. You can see the rubric, which is editing technique, use of content, concept theme, overall presentation, and outline. So this is due Thursday, May 6th, um, which is coming up soon here. Um, but it's a it's a very simple edit, edit exercise. And, you know, the thing is here, you know, really why I want you to do this is because it will get you a sense of, like, how much footage you need, how much coverage you need um to to create a one minute which is what i'm expecting a one to two minute music video so you're going to see how much energy it's going to take and how much footage and how much you need to like really really put that together so i really just want you to kind of explore that okay it's it's a fairly simple assignment but it's really good because it's going to get you you know, really thinking about all this stuff as we move into actually making your final project. There will be a second editing exercise, the same thing, about a minute, under 45 seconds to a minute, where you actually have to shoot, you know, and film something very basic, some sort of conceptual thing. It could be lightness, darkness, contrast, color, texture, um, you know, uh, graphic, whatever, like a, you know, ideological or anything like that. We actually have to shoot something and create a short, you know, uh, short music video. Um, and where I emphasis on editing, that's not a full fledged out idea. So again, these are just exercises to really be peaking you towards that final project and really preparing you in so, in so many different ways for what you need to do to be able to edit and put together a story or you know a theme in editing because like a lot of people you know don't realize like how vital editing is to the narrative process to actually telling telling the story and how much time it takes to really put that together so that's editing exercise two uh due thursday may 16th here on canvas i will get popping on it now